Oh, yeah. Hey. Well, we getting started with another day of work. My logo is teaching me a lot every day. And I'm saying, she teaching me. I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is I'm just growing. And she's helping me with that. And I kid you not, getting up and dealing with my emotions every day or looking at the emotions wheel or the feelings wheel. Hey, uh, center, sit. I, I need to focus on her to get my thoughts together. Let me get her there. Out. This is something she picked out last night that she wanted to work with. That was something she wanted to work with. So I let her bring that out here. Every once in a while, I like to give her something that motivates her. Well, at least that's what I'm learning to do as I go. Logo, pay attention. Out. So we're still working with the gloves. We've been working with those yesterday. And we always work with the bone. We'll put that right there. Bring it. Take. Yesterday, I gave her her gel cap while we were out here. And I wanted to show what that was like, what it looked like. That's it right there. That's the gel cap. Let me see if y'all can see that. Yep, that's the size of it. And she took it well yesterday. I don't have any cheese in here today, so we're gonna see. That cheese is not a normal thing. It's not something that I do on a regular. I don't waste things. If you can't tell, I gave her the cheese that I wasted, so that means I really don't waste things. <laughs> Good girl. My mouth is dry. Peep. I need water. Sit. Up. But her tongue hanging out, or if she drops her bone or whatever I asked her to carry, that is a good indicator that I need water, that she needs water, that we need water. That's what I'm saying. She reminds me so much. Peep. And every day, I feel like I come out different energy, especially, <laughs> I don't know. But we see how the day go. We're gonna get through this food. Sit. Good girl. Up. Sit. So yesterday, I went to Tractor Supply Store. I got a few items. One of them was, uh, I got some tubs that I was gonna use for her to do a bath in, but one of my sons pointed out it might be better just to use a smaller one instead of using one of those and cutting it. I was gonna cut it in, I was just gonna cut a little shape out of it so I could kind of like get her in and out of it easier. And then um, I was gonna use the other one to cover it so that it would be like a permanent bath for it. And then that the one that was gonna cover the smaller one, it also was gonna double for me for ice bath. Well, yesterday I took an ice bath in that boy and oh my goodness, that thing has me feeling amazing. Oh, uh, here. Between. Something else me and her been working on is more of a guided walk, which is what a lot of people have been seeing like in the videos uh, at Costco. It's more of a guided walk forward. And what you're doing is you're telling her where you want her to be. And now what I'm working on is getting her to turn and pivot and just focus more on me when we're going forward. So yeah. Yesterday I did that ice bath, that ice bath felt good. See, I didn't want her to come out from between my legs. That was not what I wanted. Between. But I had lost control, so I had to give her an immediate sit situation that she could go to next. Forward. I'm trying to just teach her to focus on me so that she can understand when it's time for me to turn. It's easy to walk in a straight line with a dog between your legs, but what's hard, hey, find it, find it. What's hard is, logo, find it. What's hard is, uh, maybe I didn't drop one, we didn't drop one, okay, hey. What's hard is getting them to walk and, and angles. You have, they really have to know where their position needs to be for you to make a turn. We're not perfect in that yet, we're still working on it. And that's what I'm working on today, between. And the reason why I'm working on it today is because I noticed the issue with it yesterday. That's what I mean. Whatever was my issue yesterday, 
I get up today and I do my best to try and work on it. I'm saying that's that's my issues all the time. So I'm still working on a hot water heater. Today I will be going, well, I've contacted a few people over the weekend, sick. And they will be hopefully getting with me today. Sucks. Because as soon as I get one situation started, it's not resolved, it's started, then I'll, before I went to bed last night, I wake up with a, a leak under my kitchen sink that is showing signs <laughs> in my basement, which is more frustration. It's like when it rains, it pours. And then, listen to that. I already had to call in to get my AC fixed once this year. What I'm saying is, hey, the focus on getting out of debt cost me a lot. And that's why I tell people, don't, don't run yourselves into debt, because debt has cost me a lot. And what it mainly cost me is the inability to keep up with things in my life because it was robbing me of my joy. Oh boy, it was robbing me of what was rightfully mine. Hey, people think that, oh, you can have things before it's time. What I'm saying is the best advice I can give anyone, anyone, he, sit, uh-oh, is take care of your responsibilities when you got the time to do so. Uh-oh, did you drop something? All right, sit. Okay, so I just gave her that, that gel cap. And when she looked down, I thought she had spit it out. But I think she is to the point where she likes those gel caps enough. I mean, when I put that gel cap in the bottom of her bowl, she licks the bowl clean. Especially now that her, all her food is in my hand. Normally what I would do is I would put the food in the bowl like that and then spread the gel cap over the top of it. But right now what I did was I stacked like five of these on top of a little scoop of peanut butter off of a off of a spoon, and then I drizzled, <laughs> I drizzled the gel cap over the top of the peanut butter. It's peanut butter coated salmon with a <laughs> omega three drizzle. <laughs> hey, she licked that bowl clean. She loves it. Oh yeah, and I kid you not, that omega three. Uh, it makes her coat pretty. Her coat is so much prettier. I, it, in the beginning, I didn't need it. When I had ducks, her coat stayed pretty because I gave her the duck eggs. Every time I went in the uh, cage, I would just give her her duck eggs. Oh, uh, we finished quick today, baby. That's good, though. I'm saying this is the energy that I had. I'm not going to make every day long. But uh, the duck eggs really kept her between. The duck eggs really kept her coat very, very... Um, nice and pretty sit now it's not the duck eggs it's the omega-3 I have to give it to her and I get it like I said I get it from Costco another thing that we did yesterday we painted the duck yard and by changing that duck yard from white to black it has changed the heat in the area everything over there is not as reflective so it's not as hot over there anymore and another thing that it did is it made my my photos from my wildflower bed look much better. When I painted that crate, or, well, I didn't paint it. My my kids and my nephew painted it yesterday for me. Uh, but now when I take pictures of my wildflower bed, which I'm going to take you over there and show you a little bit. I'll show you. Matter of fact, here. Bring it. We'll go for a walk through the yard right quick. That's a good thing we can do in the morning. Show you what we did yesterday. So here's the fire pit. Yesterday, we cleaned out the fire pit. Hey, oh, she's doing good. Anybody who's here for her, I know you. Yeah, go. But she got her food. She got it. She did everything she needed to do. Every day does not have to be a hard day. I'm saying you just have to spend 15 minutes with them. Look, she's still spending time with me. She's everywhere that I go. But basically, here's my wildflower bed. And that is what has come up. I'll give you a, a close up of some of them. And I'm gonna show you something because yesterday I came out here and now you see the duckyard is black. You can't even see it in the video anymore. So when I take photos from over here, you don't see a white dog, a uh, white duck yard in my photos. It was an eyesore and I couldn't stand it, but I couldn't get to it because the ducks were always in it. So I couldn't spray paint it with them there. But now that this logo's dog yard and I'll show you her yard and see, she's still working with me. It's not like we're not doing anything. I'm saying, Training is just that. She has to do what she's supposed to, no matter what. Sit, down, rise, relax, 
So this is her new duck. This is her new dog yard. It used to be the duck yard. And we spray painted. See, she loves it in here. We spray painted this area. It used to be just silver. It was for the ducks. We went ahead and took care of it on the inside. So she got a nice little spot. It's got air. It's cool in here. And we spray painted the things that will reflect the heat. And that was just to make it so heat doesn't bounce in on her. What I'm going to do next is put up some black paneling around the top. Logo, bring it. But my nephews painted, or my nephew and my two boys painted this for me yesterday, and they did an amazing job. So that, they also, like I said, with the fire pit, they cleaned out the fire pit, which I burned again last night. But they cleaned out the fire pit. They drug the, the ash around the top. And then anything that had nails in it, we got this yesterday. And that thing gets nails and stuff out. So they cleaned up this area for me as well. All right. And hey, that's pretty much it. That's what we did yesterday. And I guess what I'm saying is I'm not going to make this long for Logo. I got some errands that I got to run. And she has uh, to go to the vet today. So we're going to keep this one short. We got a couple errands to do. Hey, I want to say thank you for everybody who be tuning in. I apologize. Every day ain't going to be the kind of message that you might want. What I'm saying is I just do what I'm told. That's it. This junk getting old. <laughs> no, it's not. I feel respected. I feel, I feel blessed. Well, I don't know why blessed ain't on the, on the feelings wheel. Cause that's what I feel every day. <laughs> hey, uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Much respect, much love. This is me and my logo and we out.